guys welcome welcome back so i'm gonna be doing a pick a card reading today about your future spouse frame of mind you and your future spouse's frame of mind um sorry i'm just trying to adjust the camera for you guys there you go and you guys i really want you to just take your time and pick a pile okay let me just try and adjust it in a certain way for you there we go i don't know if you guys like it that way or you like it overhead but yeah, choose your piles, guys. Take your time. You can pause the video and let me know what you think in the comment section, okay? I really want to know what you think of my readings. I really enjoy you guys stopping by and subscribing. But um, I want to find out your, you and your future spouse's frame of mind, your next relationship, your person you have in mind, you know, all of that. So we're going to see what we get from your cards. I might shuffle some more cards. I don't know. We will see what spirit says. But I've got some cards for you. I'm also going to do initials at the end, so let's jump right into your reading. Hello, 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 Power One. Welcome to your reading. We have lots to talk about today, and I'm going to be pulling some essent well, essential, <laughs> some more messages from the, the book, all right, just to get some additional meanings for you guys, because I really want you guys to understand your messages today really really get into it it's gonna be it might be a quick reading because i like to pre-shuffle so that's what makes it a quick reading but um yeah your first card maybe you saw this card you was thinking oh why is a seven of wands here so let me give you guys a close-up of your cards okay so the seven of wands i'm gonna start off with the seven of wands for you guys because we have three tarot cards for you guys okay so first one is seven of wands the second is the Emperor. And the third for you guys is the Hanged Man. Okay. So. The Seven of Wands, guys. Let's start off the, that one. You are feeling, or you are your person, I should say, your future spouse right now. Could be going through some conflict, some struggles, some sort of competition. Um, it could be in the work area it could be at home it could be anywhere actually but you know some sort of competition is going on you feeling that you or your person is feeling very defensive um you know feeling like some conflicts i just feel like there's conflicts and challenges and there's a bit of struggle going on right now in you guys lives it could be both for you or just separate and you know it is time to take a stand okay it's time for you to be courageous some of you guys could feel under pressure you know struggles um, burdens, feeling just a lot of different things, fighting of people, feeling defensive and just protecting yourself. Right now, you guys need to be courageous or trying to be courageous. You're trying to take a stand, okay? You're trying to stand for what you're believing and yeah, I feel like you're very, very passionate about that. Some of you guys, you're your person. Some of you guys, I feel like um, with the ones here, you could be fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but you are being very brave and courageous right now with everything that you're going on. Or dealing with in your life the emperor as well again could be a fire sign okay but you or your person it feels like right now it's time for structure discipline you know time to be courageous it's time to stand tall you believe in authority okay you or your person some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's a father figure or just an older stronger person a person that's logical a person that's ambitious a person that works hard um a person that knows what they want okay very very structural very very um could be a traditional person but it doesn't have to be but this person or you could be very disciplined right now and very very um you know willing to put in the work because you know what you want and you're not going to take anything less okay with the hangman now you're your person guys um sometimes the hangman is not a bad thing okay you're just in a bit of a limbo a bit of a you know hanged situation right now you're feeling or seeing things from a different perspective all right and you just want to you want to be conscious of what you're feeling. You feel like you're stuck right now. You, some of you guys could be feeling a bit stuck, but you want to take a. You want to change that. You want to find peace. You're looking. You're looking for stability because right now you're feeling unstable. Okay, some of you guys could be feeling in limbo, unstable. You know, you can't see things from a different perspective. You're your person, but just know that you are trying to shift that. All right, you're trying to shift your consciousness. You're trying to find peace. All right, you're trying to find structure and balance. 
because you're facing so much you or your person's been facing so much or going through so much right now you have to be courageous you you are seen you're trying to see things from a different perspective because there's so much going on you don't know what to do what to think sometimes but you are getting a different idea of what you want in your life because you don't want this un like unstable feeling anymore all right so for you guys it says joy is the ultimate creator joy is the ultimate creator guys so whatever you're feeling stuck in unstable whatever you're feeling conflicts in just know that you need joy in your life and whatever way you're gonna get it i feel like you guys are go, gonna go ahead and get your joy and happiness no matter what especially with the emperor here but the universe wants you to know that joy is the ultimate creator no matter what you're doing in your life you need to have joy in your life so make sure you try and strive for joy and happiness in your life because the struggles you're going through right now is not it it's not worth it okay right so we have from the moonology guys i like to use the moonology with the <clears throat> the universe has your back because they work hand in hand sometimes for me when i do my readings and the next card for you guys it says look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius some of you guys could be sagittarius you're your person but you want balance cupid is letting you know that something good is coming look at the bigger picture okay joy is the ultimate creator okay you want joy you want love you want happiness in your life and this is bring love into the situation again joy and love is what you need and you need to bring that into your situation your current life your current struggles your current situation whatever you're going through you need to have love and joy into that situation because that's what's going to shift your consciousness and, and make you see things in a different perspective to find that peace and love that you're looking for okay the peace and love that you want and the peace and love that you truly deserve because you don't need this time of competition you don't need conflicts and challenges in your life okay pile one we have the answers you need are coming look at that look at the bigger picture because the answers you need are coming and they're coming very soon so we have full moon in gemini here lovers card you have love coming okay the answers you need are coming so if you feel stuck in a situation or anything that you're going through right now it could be love as i said it could be your work it could be your home life it could be many different things just know that whatever you're praying for whatever answers you're looking for they are coming for you you need to start looking at the bigger picture and just start to bring love in everything that you're doing and thinking the universe again is here for you the universe has your back number 31 could mean something to you guys or the number four but the universe is saying that we're all just stardust you need to believe in magic you need to believe in yourself you need to believe that you can manifest anything you need to believe that you can achieve anything everything you need is in the palm of your hands okay you are magic you can create your happiness love is around you the answers you need are coming for you okay you need to start believe in magic believing in yourself we have number 38 big number right the villain some of you guys could be dealing with a villain or walking away from this situation but spirit wants you to know you can always rewrite your story you can always rewrite the story no matter what you can create happiness again you can have joy in your life you need to just break some things and move away from certain things in your life right now there's change coming for you guys big change coming in love and in everything i feel like you guys need to expect change and know that change is coming okay just you need to start just looking at this right look at the big picture in your life stop looking at the struggles stop looking at the challenges stop looking at all the things you've been through stop looking at you know you're feeling stuck right now stop feeling like you're unstable because joy is coming love is coming and make sure you bring love and joy into everything that you're doing right now to shift that hangman that shift your perspective you need to come out of this limbo okay you or your person guys need to come out of this limbo because it's not helping you and i'm sure that you guys are going to definitely um you know shift out of that kind of vibration right now you don't need to be um feeling stuck in anything feeling burdened feeling hurt all right all right so you guys definitely need to get be more courageous you know be ready to persevere in life you may not expect it but good things are coming for you okay the seven some seven means um 
with the seven of wands seven means change something hidden as well sorry something is hidden and what is hidden will come to light so if you guys are dealing with people that's hiding things from you just know that as well that you know things are going to come to light and you can create your own happiness you can have joy in your life whatever was revealed to you in the past or revealed to you recently or coming up that's going to make maybe hurt you in some sort of way just know that it's for the better the betterment of you all right it's going to help you to shift your mind and your perspective and you're going to end up finding peace and love and joy into your life okay so i'm going to go ahead and get some romance card for you guys do this just to see what's coming up for you guys power one and then i'm gonna do your initials power one is coming for power one in love you know the person getting to know each other some of you guys could be getting to know somebody right now um or about to get to know somebody okay someone could be coming up in the future for you all right healing family issues i feel like definitely a lot of you guys are healing a lot of things in your life um a lot of conflicts and struggles you're healing a lot of family stuff could be stuff in your home as i was saying before but you're healing things and you know joy is definitely coming for you the separation a lot of you guys could be separated or about to be separated and right now you just don't know where you're going you're feeling unstable as i was saying you're feeling in limbo and you definitely want it to be more logical you want to shift your perspective and your mindset you want to find structure and balance again in your life you and your person all right so give this person time to deal with the separation and healing that they need to go through if it's you as well you need time right but you're getting to know somebody and you you know eventually you're going to understand why this person or you have been the way they have been anything else for part one okay trust and have faith power one you need to just trust and have faith in this current situation current circumstances current you know struggles and challenges that you're going through knowing that everything is going to be better and knowing that the answers that you need are coming knowing that something good is going to come from this situation all right so let me get your initials you're getting to know somebody and if you haven't yet it's gonna come okay but right now you need healing you need to move on from certain things and end certain things and stand tall be authoritative and you know, find that structure and balance in your life again. Power one. Remember, you can always rewrite your story, okay? Let's go ahead for your initials. Power one, we have a T. We have three. We have an X. Oh my gosh, somebody X. Maybe, it doesn't have to be for everybody, but an X always wants to come back, don't they? We have number one. So it could be a one or three or number 13. It could mean something to you guys. Okay, we have three. I mean, you, <laughs> an H or an I. And lastly, we have an E. So, yeah, as I was saying, it could be, you could be getting changes in your life. It could be shifting your perspective in three days, three weeks, three months. It could also mean one day. It could be tomorrow you wake up and feel something like, listen, I'm ready to change. It could be a week. It could be a month's time. You know, something might change in your life or you looking for change and ready to stand stand up and, you know, be courageous and, you know, just take um, a control of your life again and find peace and happiness and joy again. It could be many of them, many different things for you, power one, for you and your person. But I definitely feel like you guys will definitely get to know somebody. If it's not happening yet, it's going to be very, very soon. But you're healing. You're going through healing and you need to have faith, right? Have faith and trust in the universe. Trust in yourself. Trust that good things are coming. But you also, I don't feel like it's going to be for everybody. But some of you guys could be going through separation or just recently separated. And you don't know what to do and what's going to come for you. But something great is coming, right? Something beautiful is coming for you guys right the answers you need are coming and the lovers card is here so the love is definitely coming for you all right just stay positive and you know just know that you're never stuck 
okay and sometimes if you're stuck sometimes it's just your mindset and you just need to shift that and once you shift that you'll be all right part one i have great hopes for you guys and i hope you enjoy this reading and if you like more reading please make sure that you come back and subscribe share my videos comment everything like that and i'd love to see you again bye guys take care hello part two what's going on welcome to your reading we have some tarot cards we have oracle cards we have message from the universe let's jump into your reading your first card is the five of swords wow look at that i really like these cards the, the, the pictures on these are really really beautiful and it's very very good because i like to read my cards intuitively but sometimes i do like to get messages from the book so if i need to pull some more messages for you guys i definitely will all right so the five of swords is your first card the second card for you guys is justice can you focus focus beautiful justice card there for you guys pal two and the last one is two of wands All right, so with the two of wands, hmm, what I'm feeling with the two of wands for you guys, okay, I will start with this card, there's a choice for you guys to make, I feel like you guys are looking for a choice, you're looking, like maybe there's options, right, maybe, but there's prosperity, there's opportunities, and um, you're wondering about something, you're wondering where to go from here, or your phase in your life is going to be completed, or a phase in your life has ended, okay so you're thinking you're wondering and you could be planning some of you guys already planning but you um yeah there's some choices here i feel like you guys um definitely considering certain things certain things in your life it could be as i said it could be about love because this is a love reading but it could be many different things in your life okay but justice is here just when justice is here you're just looking for fairness and balance in your life you're looking for change because change is definitely needed right now for you you know yourself you and your person know what you want and i feel like if it's definitely in love there's choices made in love there's balance to be made in love there's change is coming change is needed and you definitely need to make a decision you probably already know this person if not this person could be heading towards you but right now it is time for you to make some responsible decisions in your life okay and a change is definitely needed and balance needed and if you're not a libra you just need to find balance because you reach that time stage on time in your life where you're very very decisive because normally um with libra they're undecided like they're, they're hard to make a decision and make choices and just you know <laughs> you know they're undecided like sometimes and they don't know what they want and you know they kind of get out of balance sometimes but you're trying to get balance in your life be fair and make the right decisions okay so that could be for you or your person part two the five of swords <clears throat> wow so the five of swords i definitely if you're not walking away from something you could you could have been fighting off something it could have been many different things you guys are dealing with all right and i feel like whatever you guys are going through or well, whatever choices you need to make whatever peace you're looking for um whatever that wasn't working out for you okay just know that you're not defeated okay you're not defeated if you have to walk away from certain things all right you could be feeling like nothing is happening for you and um, you're not accomplishing your goals you're in love in in work it could be many different things you could be feeling isolated um but you know you some of you guys could have been going through the battles of the mind basically or just battle generally with people you could have a lot of pride and you know that could be your downfall but five is a lot of change change is need to change is needed to happen a great change is coming for you guys power to you okay so please know that all right now it's not time to be a prideful person all right now it's not time for you to um be weak or be blind by your own weaknesses as this book is saying here for you guys he says it could be that you're blind to your own weaknesses all right so you don't know you don't know and you lower yourself into situations that you're not ready for so that could make you very undecisive and not knowing what you want in love or where you're going and you know that could also make you feel like you know 
a lot of stages in your life or phases in your life or ending for no reason and you don't know where to go from here but just know that you will definitely find balance or you're looking for balance or your person is looking for peace and balance in their life again okay so next card for you guys in every moment the universe is, is conspiring to bring me toward the right minded thinking and the energy of love so you guys you definitely need to start thinking right change your mindset this is what's going to help you to definitely make the right choices to reach prosperity to get the right opportunities coming towards you because maybe even opportunities are coming towards you but you probably don't see it all right maybe you need to this will definitely help you to consider where you need to go um you know changing your mindset the universe is always helping you your spirit guides are helping you all right you need the right type of mind change your mindset and bring energy of love into everything that you're doing okay it doesn't matter how hard it is okay it doesn't matter what choices you have to make you need fairness and balance in your life and believe in the impossible guys blue moon so you guys could be feeling blue as well feeling very very upset and defeated okay just like what do i do i don't know what to do anymore i feel lost but just know you need to believe in the impossible the universe wants you to know that your spirit guides want you to know that okay adjustments are required guys adjustments are required third quarter moon you definitely need to make some choices adjust some things in your life you know balance out some things what change is needed guys power to you or your person need to make some changes some adjustments are required before you guys get into any sort of love situation or anything to happen right now for you but you also know that things happen and it can happen overnight just believe in it just believing it and believing in yourself is just definitely going to shift certain things and balance in your life. It's going to bring forward this, this, a fiery a climax approaches. Once you shift and make all these adjustments for the moon in Aries, this is what's going to happen to you. Some of you guys could be Aries, okay, willing to make that change, willing to move. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like you or your person could have Aries in your charts. But you guys, a fiery climax approaches you guys could be walking away from something or something good is coming for you you know what it is you let me know in the comments okay but i feel like you guys just need to sit down slow down slow down and celebrate yourself we have the number 29 okay 11 again big numbers definitely need to focus on yourself for a little bit celebrate yourself knowing that good things are coming for you believing in the impossible knowing that you just need to shift your mindset and no matter what changes again number 11 Again, sun, beautiful card for you guys, power two. You and your person, you just paint the sun back into your sky. Look at that message. You're feeling very defeated. You're feeling like you don't know what to do. You're concentrating all sorts. You've made a lot of, you've done a lot of stuff in life, but you didn't see anything happening. But just know that good things are coming. But you need to take a little seat and slow down and just celebrate yourself and all your successes so far. And just know that good things are coming. You just need to keep believing in that. And you're trying to find the balance. And the balance that you're finding is definitely going to bring some good things into your life. You know, certain things might have to end. Certain things might have to begin. But the wheel keeps turning because adjustments are required to power to okay it's definitely required for you right now because i definitely feel like you guys are in the state of mind where you need to find clarity and to make some adjustments so let's see what's happening in your love life when it comes to you and your person how <clears throat> to we have one card already oops okay Oh, we have chemistry, guys. Chemistry, some some magnetic things coming up. I feel like it definitely works in play with this card. Chemistry and climax, something popping and passionate is coming for you guys. Okay, strong magnetic attraction. You guys are probably feeling that already if you know this person. If you don't know them, it's coming. But you guys, oh, wow, look at that. You're moving away from deceptive people, deception. Okay, you're moving away from this right this could be one of the choices you guys have to make like where do i go from here i've been dealing with deceptive people but just know that somebody's coming you might not believe it but believe in the impossible okay you can get this beautiful sunshine back into your life this chemistry is coming this chemistry that you're craving for if it's not here as i said it's coming for you guys power two power two see what we're getting for you and your person unrequited love 
not enough attraction or chemistry this can be in the past okay this could have been in the past and you're over and done with it and this is why right now you are sitting here celebrating yourself like listen i'm, I'm loving myself now you want your person to like i need to love myself a little bit i had to walk away from certain things i had to make choices i had to you know I had to decide some things and I had to find balance again in my life, okay? I had to because there was not, not enough required to love. I was giving more than I was receiving. But now I'm over these deceptions and deceptive people and deceptive thoughts and stuff like that in my life because I really want some strong magnetic love. I want beautiful love. I want that love that I've seen and craved for. All right, but guys, you're a person going through this. You're forgiving and learning, and this is a big message. This is really, really good, actually, because this is some of the adjustments that need to be made in your life right now, for you guys to create and, you know, welcome this beautiful abundance coming in for you. You need to forgive and learn and move on and heal. Okay, let's get your initials, guys. I really love this message. I really do think that great things are coming part two. Oh, we got lots for you guys. So the first one that was stuck on my hand is an S. Okay, you and your future spouse's initials. Could also be countries where you're from. You can take it as it resonates. Oh, we got a two for you, part two. Brilliant. Two could mean something to you. That's why you chose this pile we have a m or a w take it as it resonates because sometimes i don't know which one it is <laughs> if i see two w's and i know one is an m okay we have a p next <laughs> we've been getting lots of number one so some of you guys could be you know either focus on yourself or it could be one day one week one month a year um you know when there's okay so now we have a w so one's an m and one's a w here so you guys definitely have two different initials coming up for you guys and um, we have a t oh we have lots guys we have an r a u a k and Lastly, we have a Z or an N. Okay. It's a Z or an N, whichever one resonates with you. That's your message. And I hope it did resonate with you because that's the whole purpose of my readings. It's for you to get clarity and confirmation. But it's also for entertainment purposes. So everything is all up to you. It's not set in stone. But I know for sure something good is coming for you, part two. You're going through a stage right now. You have to forgive, learn and make some adjustments in your life because good things are coming for you. You need to paint the sun back into your sky. Okay, you need to find happiness again. And I really think that you will definitely do that once you learn to find balance and know that you know, things are not working against you, okay? But change is definitely needed for you guys right now because you're going through this stage in your life where you need to make choices and just know that great opportunities are coming for you, okay? Prosperity is ahead. Thank you so much for watching part two. I hope you love this reading and subscribe, comment, and share this video if you love that and if you love my readings. And yeah, I love it. I love you too. <laughs> I love you in advance. Take care, guys. Bye. Hello, hello, Pal 3. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. So we're going to jump right into your first card. We have three tarot for you and some oracle cards and some other cards for you guys. But I'm going to pull romance and initials at the end. All right, so stay tuned for your whole reading. Your first card is a eight of swords. Hope you can focus. Focus. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. You guys, this this card alone just, you know, off the bat just tells me a lot. Wow, you guys. Okay. We have the five of cups, part three. Again, this is a big message already looking at this card. And the next card is, wow. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen it. When I was shuffling, I didn't really look. I just put them together and just... Why? There's a lot of swords and cups. Well, two swords. So definitely, so you guys could be um, air sign. It doesn't have to be you or your person. And, and also water sign I'm picking up here so far. But, um, hmm, five of cups. 
the eight of swords oh my gosh change needs to happen for you guys power three the eight of swords feeling trapped i'm getting feeling trapped already with this wrapped up look at this rope around you and these swords eight swords but none of them catched you but you're still feeling trapped because of the rope around you but guess what this isolation and pain and feeling trapped that you're going through is not going to last. It's not going to be forever. It could have been going on for a while, guys, because I'm seeing many different emotions coming in with these three cards alone. You could have been going through some things for a long time. Um, you could have been alone. You can't show if nobody else can't, you know, express yourself as well. And, you know, you just feel a bit depressed, stressed out and blind to things because some like the person here is blindfolded well you don't know where to go what to do where to turn to who to turn to you know and with the five of cups as well it's like lost you know you, you feel like you lost something or you're going to lose something and you don't know what to do because you, even though you have two cups standing you, you there's three cups spilled and it's like you're still fussing or thinking about that spilt milk you you have lots of regret and emotional loss right here Okay, in these two cards as well, you know, even though you're feeling pain and isolation in the first card, you know, this card I still feel there's a lot of pain and regret and loss and emotional loss, I should say as well. Even though you feel like there's an overall loss, there's emotional loss, which makes you feel hopeless. But, um, you know, you guys, you still need to be grateful because you still got two cups standing there. And even though you may be separated for some of you guys, not everybody, um, or lose somebody or lost something you know you just need to remember to be grateful even though you're still feeling so hopeless right now okay try to have some kind of gratitude okay not all is lost okay just remember that there's still two cups turned in there not all is lost so you need to remain focused and remain very very grateful and you need to try and bring some kind of clarity into your life power free you're your person you need to remain focused okay because right now you are a bit blindfolded you you can't really see things because you're so trapped and you're like a lost soul right now you're going through the dark night of the soul but you guys you need to know everything is fine everything is going to be fine you may not feel fine right right but right now because you have the ten of swords in your back betrayal guys big betrayal big deception big unfaithfulness it could mean many things but betrayal endings you know but this is fate guys this is fate i know all the, it doesn't seem like it's fate but it was meant to happen you had to go through this for certain things to happen and it could have happened suddenly abruptly you know overnight it could have happened randomly out of the blue you know but backstabbing is never something that's good you know, getting hurt or pain and feeling trapped and isolated is never something good to go through. That's why you're feeling so hopeless and lost. But guys, don't let this weary feeling of fear or just feeling weary and dull get you down because everything's going to be okay. You know, betrayal will make you feel very, very weary. You know, something ending so abruptly could make you feel very dull and hopeless. Like, all right, I'm just going to lie here with these swords and not move because I'm feeling very trapped anyway. So why should I move? All right. Let me just stay in my pain and my regret. And, you know, let me just be this loss, emotional loss. I'm just going to just swallow it, swallow me. So, guys, don't do that. Don't let that happen. You're your person. I feel like you need to get out of this. And you definitely will because the card says everything is fine fine this is fate you needed to get out of it anyways because it wasn't healthy it was toxic okay guys the universe has your back power free big time always always have the owl look up the owl the owl might mean something to you spirit is telling me to tell you guys but the universe has your back always has always had it doesn't matter if you went through the dark night of the soul or going through it it wasn't needed you needed to lose this person you need to lose these things you need to lose something but because you were so isolated for so long it had you feeling very very stuck it had you feeling very trapped it had you feeling very hopeless and you needed to shift you need to get a shift you need to move out of that so spirit wants you to know that they had your back right it's time to release look at this it's time to release negativity you had to spill these milk. You had to have this loss. You had to move on. I told you guys, it's fate. You know, F-A-T-E, fate. It had to happen. 
you know some of you guys may be separated but you had to release negativity you had to release negative people or things away from you but not all is lost but it was time it was needed some guys some of you guys could be scorpio or have it in your charts okay you are your person a personal issue reaches resolution guys full moon in cancer it was needed it was needed to happen because a personal issue needs to be resolved something needed to happen something to end it a loss had to happen for it to be you know <sighs> guys i just feel it uh, you guys are going to take a deep breath you see that that breath i took i feel like you guys just want to take a deep breath you want to take the weight off your shoulder you want to take these swords out your back you want to feel happy again okay something happy is coming for you and definitely look at this i feel i feel very emotional already because the full moon eclipse as well yeah this is a big thing coming for you big conclusions are coming and and they are within reach power three all right be grateful because not all is lost because guess what conclusions within reach everything's coming for you all right you guys could definitely have water in your chart there's some emotional and personal stuff going on right now that you guys need to heal from because you were feeling so trapped and alone and you need to weave together the crown you deserve the person you was with or the people who was around and surrounding yourself with wasn't giving you that right that made you feel so so hopeless but you need to know that those thorns you're going to take those stones and you're going to weave together the crown you deserve, baby. Okay? You are going to make something great from it. You are going to come out feeling so much love and joy and happiness from this. Number 14 or 5, change. 5, change. Number 8, the 8 of swords. Look at this. All right? The 8 is here again. But with this 8, it's saying wings. You see this trap feeling that you had, guys? Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. You're your person was feeling like this in any situation that you was in. Look at this eight. Look at this change coming. The wings. You was feeling trapped and tied up, but you have wings. Guys, I'm feeling so emotional. Look, you never needed those wings to fly. You never knew you could have got out of this situation. But you look at you flying. Look at you. All right? Look at you. Look at you going and being this beautiful just go in you can create your happiness you can get everything you want in life you can definitely get everything you want in life you don't need no wings you don't need nobody to tell you that you're definitely going to get the courage to go ahead and do this again let me pull some romance card for you guys okay beautiful message power free you and your person has big change coming all right you're not lost you haven't lost everything okay look separation i did say that you guys some of you guys could be separated okay going through a separation or about to or already separated and feeling so lost feeling regret feeling trapped isolated all right feeling that you can't get anything better from that stay optimistic about your love life stay optimistic about your love life all right no matter if you're going through separation no matter if you've been left no matter if he was abandoned all right no matter what you've lost, power free, okay? Stay optimistic. Please do. You deserve this. You know that good things are going to come once you shift your mindset. Trust me, you will definitely shift it because you guys are going to get focused and you're going to remain focused because you know you deserve better, okay? You and your person know this. <clears throat> You had to retreat, you had to disconnect from the world, or you're going to be doing that. I feel like a lot of you guys are working on this right now. And if not, you this is what you've been going through. You was feeling very disconnected from the from everybody. You was very disconnected. You had to retreat. You had to learn how to, you know, <clears throat> get over this. You know, you had to let go of certain things and get over this. You had to, <laughs> all these feelings. And all these things that you was going through, you had to let go of it. And eventually, if you haven't done that already, you will let go of these feelings. Because, guys, you need to still remain grateful, all right, for what you do have in your life, okay? Even if you felt disconnected, even if you felt isolated, you know, please know that good things are coming for you in your love life and in your life in general. Let's see what else I can get for part three. When it comes to love... What's next for power three for them and their future spouse in love? Okay, what is the frame of mind? 
you know what's next or what you could have what if you haven't been through this already this is what you're going through or have been going through okay definitely feeling like you guys are getting over deception okay this one love yourself first guys weave the tech weave together the crown you know you deserve first all right do that first definitely needed for you to find that stability for you to know that you have still have a lot of things in your life for you not to feel hopeless you know you need to love yourself first you need to but playfulness is coming this is the last card for you guys definitely you need some playfulness and happiness and joy into your life again you need that and it's coming for you definitely in your love life very very soon but you definitely need to learn to love yourself first you're getting over deceptive people and deceptive things you know separation for some of you guys but you had to um disconnect if you haven't done it already and this disconnect as well as we're saying could have been that you was feeling so trapped and you had to disconnect to you know learn to love yourself again because you had enough of things in your life that you didn't deserve anymore so you had to make that change you had to make that change and i feel like this change is going to bring so much conclusions in your life so much shift is coming for you power free for you and your person you need to expect a lot of stuff personal issues are come resolving a lot of emotional and personal stuff are getting resolved in your life but you need to you needed it because yeah you need to release some negativity and some negative thinking and some negative people take it as it resonates negative negativity could mean different things for different people okay but always remember that the universe has your back guys always remember that the universe has your back always every day always watching out for you no matter how no matter how you're feeling everything is fine and everything is gonna be fine let's get your initials part free So first off, you guys, I see a V, okay, a D, a Y, an N, or a Z. Ooh, we have a Q, a Q. Focuses. Oh, an X. Some of you guys could be releasing an X. Have deceptive X. Take it as resonate. Could be different things with the X. Okay. And lastly, an S. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Power three. What your your person could be going through so much. And if you and your person's going through all of this, and um, your future spouse or somebody you already know. Just know that this person definitely needs some healing. They need to love themselves again. They need to find love in their life again. And they need to know that, you know, if you do know this person, just let them know that everything's not lost. And if you haven't met this person yet, because, you know, we're reading in the future as well. It's a future spouse reading, but it's also some of you guys could already know this person and have them in your life. And, you know, you definitely need to be there for them. If you're not in their life yet, just know that, you know, when this person comes into your life, they'll be healed. For all three of my pals, you know, these readings are something that you guys are working on and healing from. And you just need to remain focused and shift your mindset and just know that good things are coming for you, okay? So, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonated with you. And I'd love to see you guys here again soon. My loves and yeah, bye guys. Take care of yourselves.